So my favorite thing about being part of this play was just like getting to like see another perspective that you really don't see represented ever. Whether that's media or even people with social justice when they talk about it, it's like well, not really that often talked about their stories that haven't been told yet here. There are not that many trans or queer identifying students at the school. Society is just kind of weird about that. And I think that's important to discuss openly as we do with genders for race. First, I mean educating ourselves. We have yet to have a discussion. It actually gets people talking, gets people aware of what's going on. We need to tackle as a school and as a society. So I think it's really important to have this entire play that's dedicated to trans and gender non-binary people. People who don't identify with the strip. Gender roles. And then realize that there's so many of them, they're so diverse, they're not just one or two things. And that's that's what I really think is the game. Growing up in China and Hong Kong, there is a huge gender binary mindset. I, I really learned like how to how to escape that mindset of the binary, how to like spread that up. After being in this play, I am more comfortable with conversations about gender identity and sexuality and I want to have conversations with my friends back home and my family back home. I was really moved by just watching even like the dress rehearsal so I hope that people are going to come and be moved by this performance as well and take away from it like more than they thought they were going to. Yeah, I just think that it needs more awareness and I hope that play will be able to do that or this play <laughs> will be able to do that. And thank you for being comfortable laughing or not laughing at the audience, even though it is a hard conversation.